What's going on, everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about The Last of Us coming to the PlayStation 4. Now, this news is not necessarily new. Um, it is new news, but this is something that I can probably say at least 75% of gamers knew was going to happen. If you know about the PlayStation, if you know about Naughty Dog, and if you know about the PS4, more than likely you would have come to the same conclusion that sooner rather than later, Naughty Dog would release a graphically uh, superior, ramped up, vamped up version of The Last of Us, including all the DLC and uh, the Left Behind single player DLC for the PS4. Now, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is probably going to be my favorite PS4 game now because I love The Last of Us. Um, I love everything about the game. I love the story. I love the characters. I love the world. I, and I just I had a great time with it. I really can't wait. This article is on Forbes.com and it reads, The Last of Us Coming to the PlayStation 4. Big, if not entirely unexpected news from Sony, according to an interview with PlayStation's Eurasian software market manager, Serkan Sullen, with Turkish, web Turkish website Multiplayer. Last year's critically acclaimed PS3 title, the Last of Us will be making its way to Sony's PlayStation 4. It's good news for anyone hungering for first-party content on the PS4, even more so for anyone who decided to jump shit from Xbox for this generation and missed out on a game that has been hoovering up awards like it's spring cleaning. As we've come to expect with last-gen ports, it will, it will come fully loaded with enhanced graphics and left behind the first and only piece of single-player DLC. Despite the massive amounts of hardware PS4 has been moving, we're still in an awkward phase with current-gen consoles where most of the games are generation straddlers not quite ready to embrace the full power of modern hardware. Even Infamous Second Son, the first current-gen's only AAA title on either console since launch, comes with some noticeable quirks. For example, the superhero, the superhero main character can't swim or interact with water in any way. The latter years of the PS3 and arguably the early days of the PS4 show just how powerful software is when it comes to selling consoles. The PS3 got off to a rocky start against the Xbox 360, but by the end of the generation they were, they were neck and neck, with exclusives like God of War, Uncharted, and Journey pulling a huge portion of the weight. The Last of Us, likely the last great exclusive for the PS3, provided the Xbox 360 owner a tantalizing idea of what might await them if they switched to Sony and the next generation. Even without many titles announced yet, a number of people have told me that they went with Sony PS4 based on its track record with first party development. It's a fresh start this time around. Many of Sony's worldwide studios are, are in trouble. Intended launch titles, Drive Club is still delayed indefinitely. Next up after Infamous is The Order 1886, a neo-Victorian supernatural action title from Ready at Dawn. Titles like The Last of Us can fill the gap for a while, but I'm waiting for the first PS4 title from Naughty Dog to really see what my new machine is capable of. What do I think about this, man? Um, he's absolutely right. This uh, is going to kind of still the waters. Because uh, Infamous Second Son, which while I must say I'm playing it and I'm enjoying it, I'm having a hell of a time with it, is uh, the only AAA title for the PS4. Everything else has been postponed. We've got major PS4 studios with layoffs across the board. It's really strange how everybody's just leaving Sony at the same time. It's, it, I don't believe in coincidences. I think that there's probably some reason that a lot of these guys are deciding to jump ship and go at the same time. and move on to uh, you know other ventures in their lives but you know uh, I guess if that is the truth it will come out sooner rather than later or maybe later uh, I think the last of us for PS4 will be a huge uh, boost in sales across the board for PS4 be it hardware or software I know the game already sold six million for PS3 uh, you know, during after its release, six million for a game is a pretty, uh, especially for a new IP, is a pretty high number. And now that everyone knows about the game, it would be, I'd be remiss not to pick it up on the PS4 just to see what they can do with it. Now, uh, on um, now on Tomb Raider, the definitive edition, they actually took Laura Croft's model on the PS3 and they tweaked it on the PS4 and changed some things. Now, it, that kind of got mixed reviews. A lot of people did not like that new look. A lot of people did. Me, personally, uh, I'm neither here nor there. You know, uh, the game looked great either way. It really looked awesome on the PS4. Now, 
with The Last of Us, I might take a little bit of issue if they actually change the, the character models and make them look, you know, uh, as far as features. If they make the features look different. Now, I don't mind them, you know, increasing the resolution and adding, you know, um, more polygons per, per square inch and making things look better, you know, uh, textures. But if they make Ellie and Joel look like slightly different versions of themselves by changing features, I think I'll have an issue with that. I'm really looking forward to this game. One thing I, I will say about it, I'm not looking forward to a $60 price tag for a game I've already paid for. Now, after paying for the game, getting the DLC, you're you're up there close to 100 bucks after all the DLC. You know, uh, the game is 60. You got $15 DLC, and you got multiplayer DLC. You got all this stuff that you pay for, and then here we go again. You got to pay for all that again with the PS4 version. That's probably my main concern. What Naughty Dog is willing to do as far as price and uh, doing something for the people who already went out there and bought the game initially. Now, if the game comes out at a $39 price point, I'm done. I'm, it's mine. Honestly, me being Beastly Gamer, and you guys know how I am, if it comes out at 60 bucks, I'm grabbing it. I'll, it'll be under duress, of course, because I don't want to have to pay 60 bucks for a game I've already destroyed. But uh, if it comes out at $40, I think that's a great value. I think that we can, we can uh, all kind of agree on that. I doubt they will take the model that Call of Duty Ghost Battlefield and the Assassin's Creed Black Flag Day, where if you have the original game, you can pay $10 and upgrade, which I thought would be something that Sony would utilize more to, uh, you know, kind of be there for the gamers. But it appears that the publishers, if they go up, go back and, uh, you know, revamp a game, they want to make more money. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. You guys let me know what you think about this. The Last of Us is coming to the PlayStation 4. And, uh, I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.